Leo. What the fuck's up? Hope you're doing good. February 2019. Taroscope reading. Fuck yeah. Get down, get down. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Are you a robot? <laughs> Gotta know when to pop and lock, baby. <laughs> I'm being weird, but that's okay. I figured you understand because you like the attention too. Alrighty then, I hope you guys are having a marvelous good time. So this is gonna be your general collective reading for Leos for February, 2019. Okay, so first make sure that you subscribe to this channel, also like this video and make sure you hit the notification button so you know when I'm downloading shit and when I go live, okay? Because I like to do that. Also, follow me on Instagram, Lori Gemini Tarot. I post daily tarot oracle affirmation readings. Of course, I do live streams. What else, bitch? And if you like a personal reading, you need to go through Instagram, check out my pricing, and then DM me if you want a reading. That's how I roll, that's how I roll. Okay. <laughs> Um, also, uh, please note, okay, my monologue is over on that part, so please note, Leo, that this is a general collective reading for all you motherfuckers. There's no way in hell that it's going to resonate with all you guys. You guys are very dramatic and over the top. There's no way that, you know, it's like very, I, I'm hearing John Lovitz. I just love it. Acting. <laughs> you know, Acting. Hi, I'm Jay Sherman. Yeah, that's the ticket, right? Okay. So, of course, this is no way in hell it's going to resonate with all you Leos back on track. So, please note, readings go vice versa. Take what applies. Leave out the rest. If the reading did not resonate with you, the reading was not meant for you. It was meant for another motherfucking Leo, okay? And let me stress this again. If the reading, two, two, two. <laughs> if the reading did not resonate with you, then don't force the goddamn reading, okay? It didn't apply, it didn't apply. Two, three, four, there you go. And, uh, doo -doo -doo. yes, there you go. Sorry, I wanted to fix the lighting because I gotta do that shit. Okay, Leos, let's go ahead and get into this bullshit with you guys. And then I know how you guys like it, so I think this is going to be just, hold on. Come on, Leo, 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 Leo. Three, four, five. <laughs> okay, Leo, February 2019. So you should probably look up those numbers afterwards. We've got the Epperts card reverse. Mother of fucking God. I kept on getting this all day in readings, okay? It's on even on my Facebook live stream. I uploaded that too. <laughs> so, um, the Epperts card reverse. Of course, this is your vibe, Leo. I'm also seeing Aquarius. I'm also seeing a Pisces. I'm seeing Capricorn. A little bit of Virgo as well not feeling secure with yourself a lot of blockage creative blockage sexual blockage just like low self-esteem 
just feeling like you're stuck in a rut, you're doing the same routine, you feel like you're just blending, like you're becoming a wallflower. Some of you could be having difficulties with fertility. We'll go ahead and find out what the fuck is going on. bottom of the deck we have the justice card reverse you could be dealing with the libra here so these are two major arcanas here so some of you could be depressed that a relationship may not be going in the direction that you want to go you could this could be several things this could be a relationship with your mother this could be you know like with the parent sibling this could be your wife you could be having difficulties with your husband or, you know, you know, your wife too. <clears throat> this is an ending of a relationship, a marriage. I feel like um, for a small percentage of you, like fertility or pregnancy, there was some sort of issue. I don't know if somebody was faking a pregnancy or somebody was having difficulties. Um, Conceiving. This is like very emotional. Some of you feel like you're like an old hag or you feel like you're not a woman, you're not complete. Some of you feel like you're a bitter old hag and you're angry and you're vengeful, you know, and you're spiteful. And it's like, I'm here and like drain them for everything they've got. I've got the Nine of Pentacles here. This is about being happy and joyful and content being single. So it's like, yeah, I blinded this motherfucker for everything that this person did to me because they wronged me. And yeah, I may be a bitter old hag, but I got my money and I'm living comfortably. And there I am living top of my world. But here's the thing. Okay, you could be dealing with the strong Libra Gemini Aquarius because I have the Ten of Swords reverse and then I have the Five of Swords reverse. So you can try to pretend and be like, oh, everything's okay with me. I'm happy being single. I'm happy being divorced. I'm happy that I'm separated. But you, me, and like everybody fucking knows, even like Tom Cruise in a fucking closet knows like, he is telling you with R. Kelly, like, bitch, you are a bitter, stubborn motherfucker. Like, you could be, like, you could even be a man and be salty as fuck, you know, and thinking, like, all women are, like, are just, like, lying hags or whatever. Um, but it's, like, either way, regardless of the energy, um, I'm just seeing a lot of women here, so that's why. It's like you feel betrayed. And so you want to put on a front that everything's okay, but you, me, and everybody else and your fucking mama knows that you ain't cool. Okay, you are still holding on to the past. You cannot let this shit go. This is making you hella depressed, like angry. It's like you cry yourself to sleep every night. Sometimes you drive in your car, like on your way to and from work and you're crying nonstop. You have nightmares, like reoccurring dreams. It's horrifying because it's real. You're living in this reality. You have someone, it could be a man, somebody saying shit. Like this is a really drastic change in your life. This is horrifying to you, really drastic. And like two people are walking away, like this person could have dropped a truth bomb on you and just was like, you know what? I'm not enjoying this and I'm leaving you for somebody else. 
they could be telling you how they honestly feel and you're at a at a crossroads and you chose like I have dignity, I have pride, or you could have said something that could have just ruined everything. Like there was no coming back from it. Whatever this betrayal was, there was no way to come back from this. And I'm telling you, with the Hermit card reverse, Virgo, Aquarius vibe, I'm seeing a little bit of a Sagittarius because of the staff. It's like, you are not comfortable with being alone. You are afraid of being comfortable in your own skin, identifying who you are as a person, as an individual. It scares you. It scares you and it's much easier to cling on to what's comfortable and you're so adapted to anger, which anger is always to a small, like anger can be a good, to a small degree, kind of help motivate you, put a little fire under your ass in order for you to move forward. Think of Zuckerberg, for example, 1111. Think of Zuckerberg, for example. So sometimes, you know, to try to prove someone one is wrong or to spite them or whatever, we've all been there, but you're not even doing it to kind of light a fire in your ass to move forward. You're just being fucking salty as shit. And you're afraid to expand. You're afraid to really be comfortable being alone, being comfortable within yourself. Cause you feel like this person is your identity and they're not, you made them your identity. That was fucking crazy, you guys. You have no idea. What the fuck? Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a different reading. This is going to be with the Leno, uh, Lenomar, uh, Lenomans deck. So, um, both from the same artist. Both the, the tarot deck and this deck. So I'm going to go ahead and give you another reading. So in case that the first reading did not resonate, hopefully this one will. You can get the messages that you need. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like whenever I see those numbers and I tell them to you, those are special messages, special, um, special direct messages just for you guys. Big money, big money, no whammies, no whammies. Okay. Okay, holy shit. Okay. Okay. I got writer at the bottom of the deck. I have not doing this okay so there is going to be a lot of travel um you met some of you may be going on vacation some of you may be traveling a trip um whether you can be going to vacation i'm seeing a lot of either cross country um like going on road trip like we're going to go ahead and drive across state um across the border um you know going from the east coast to west coast west coast to east coast whatever some of you guys may be traveling to foreign countries, to lands of the unknown you've never been to before, going over water, might be going on a cruise, might going over to like the beach, the Bahamas or whatever. But some of you are actually relocating. This could be for employment. Some of you are just having identity crisis or you're just trying to find yourselves. You're going where your heart, your soul, your energy is guiding you. Easy writer is what I'm hearing. Okay. 
I don't like the Aries reading. I'm kind of picking up on very unique messages just for you guys. So I'm kind of picking up on that shit. Okay, so I've got whip here for you guys. Some of you are just being beaten to submission. You're being dominated. Some of you feel like you're, like life is dominating you. Like you have no control over your life, your work, you know, your relationships that you have with people, the environment that you're in, like debt, everything. It feels like you surrender, like everything you submit is to like the government, to money, everything. Some of you have been in very like abusive relationships. See, we got the ship here and this is confirming, I'm telling you guys about you guys are traveling, relocating. We've got letter here. Some of you could have received a job for employment. This could be, hey, congratulations, you've been accepted to this college or university. This is really great news. This is the reason why you are traveling, why you're relocating. Some of you may have been invited to like a destination wedding, an invitation to an exclusive party. For others of you, this could be traveling because of like a death of a family. Um, could be like somebody's in jail, you have to like go and bail them out or come or visit them in prison in a like in a mental ward or something. I've got the tower card reverse. You could be dealing with a with the Scorpio, but this is not good news. This is moving forward. Some of you could have received bad news, you know, and you're kind of having to pick up the pieces and start over from scratch. And we've got the Clover card reverse and then we got heart. So you guys feel like you're always like, you're unlucky in love. Some of you may be relocating for the wrong reasons for looking for love. You may be moving because for a particular partner, you know. I'm seeing somebody may have been catfished. Some of you are thinking that maybe relocating, that you're going to find like better quality people, but you're going to find out that people are just fucked up. They're just all over the place, you know? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and give you your body positive affirmation readings. Okay, so I thought I would switch things up a bit. I usually do this on Instagram, but I thought this would be a nice addition. I kind of try to switch up my decks some you know I try to bring some a little bit of variety to see people just like this or whatnot um I'm gonna have to I was thinking about incorporating something else into things too so I gotta start doing that So message one, I am fucking in love with taking care of my body. Your approval is neither desired nor required because I am fucking enough. I'm a grown ass human being and I do whatever the fuck I want. And finally, yes, you can get through today because you are a motherfucking unicorn. Goddamn right, Samuel Jackson. My knight in shining armor. He would be a perfect alarm car, like he would be in a perfect alarm clock or like a perfect uh, like navigational voice for doing directions for like, God damn it, you missed a turn, you fucking son of a bitch, you know. I can hear that, okay. Look at Brad here. Okay. 
Now this is your Rebel Deck reading for my Leos for February 2019. Let's see what's going on, what messages you need to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these. So message one, they broke your heart. Fuck them. Ask an expert, don't rely on your friends or the internet, listen to a damn professional. You were loved, you're here for a reason, don't fuck it up. You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess fact. Clean yourself up. Love. Get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. And finally, make better fucking choices. If you're pissed at where you're at, then stop taking yourself there. As the great Shia LaBeouf once said, if you're tired of starting over, then quit giving up. All righty then, Leos. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If this resonated with you, if you find me entertaining and uh, whatever the fuck, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe, like this video, make sure you share my shit too. Also, uh, like me, uh, follow me on Instagram, Lori Gemini Tarot. Thank you very much, Leos. You guys are amazing and um, you guys are the tits.